Hi everyone, it's Mike again from 826LA, and I'm here to present another episode of Barnacle and Barnacle Presents. Now, some of you may know, April is National Poetry Month. So today, we'll be reading a collection of poems written by students who came to visit 826LA on a well-wishing and poetry writing field trip. During this field trip, students found out that our publisher, Professor Barnacle, had a pet wombat named Wendy, who was feeling a little down. So the students decided to write a collection of poems to cheer her up. Now I know what some of you may be wondering, what is a wombat? That's a great question. This is a wombat. Now that we've gotten that out of the way, let's get to the poetry. Today's book is called Wendy, This is for You, Don't Be Blue and other poems for a depressed wombat. It was written by Miss Cho's fourth grade class from Grandview Boulevard Elementary School. This book was made possible by a group of volunteers in our field trips program, including Margie, Jamie, Jordan, Stephanie, Margie, and Sam. If you're interested in volunteering with 826LA, you can email us at iwanttohelp at 826la.org or visit our website at 826la.org slash volunteer. Now on to the first poem. Our first poem is going to be a list poem. Do you have any guesses at what a list poem is? It's a poem in the form of a list. All the things on the list are related by a common theme. That means they all are related to the same thing. List poems also use two poetic techniques, onomatopoeia and alliteration. Onomatopoeia are sound effect words like kaboom, bark, hiss, spoink, splat, bang, meow, kazoom. They're the kind of words that you'll find in comic books. Alliteration are words that start with the same sound like funny fingers, mushy macaroni, belly button, and pointy popsicle. They're the kind of words that you'll find in a tongue twister. See if you notice either onomatopoeia or alliteration in the poem we're about to read. Our first poem is called, Wendy, this is for you, don't be blue. Wendy the wombat is depressed. So instead, think of rest. Think about the nice slap of water, the whoosh of the waves, the sound of the seagulls and the squishy sand. You may float in the Indian Ocean with no commotion. The Indian Ocean is beautiful and so are you. We will buy you and Professor Barnacle a ticket to India. You like rom-coms, but you don't like King Kong. You like to eat throw pillows, but don't like whomping willows. This poem is your home sweet hope throw pillow. And that, was Wendy, this is for you, don't be blue. Time for some barnacle bonus questions. What was the theme of that list poem? Did you notice any examples of onomatopoeia or alliteration? Go back and listen to the poem again and see if you can answer these questions. Our next set of poems are going to be ode poems. What is an ode? An ode is a poem of praise. It describes what we like about a person or object. In odes, we use two techniques to describe that person or object, sensory details and simile metaphor. Sensory details are descriptions that appeal to our five senses, taste, touch, sight, sound, and smell. Simile metaphor are comparisons between two different but similar things. The difference between a simile and a metaphor is that similes use like and as, while metaphors do not. Some examples of simile are sweet as honey or red like fire. Examples of metaphors include you are a gem or you are my sunshine. Now for our first ode. Ode to chill pills. Pills, pills, they will help you when you are ill. 
They smell like stale old butter corn. Probably tastes like popcorn left on the movie theater floor. Hard plastic outside, squishy sticky inside. Two stuck together inside the glass bottle to make a sound. They definitely weigh less than a pound. Look like coconut jelly beans with confetti pepper flakes. Pills, pills to help you chill. When you get stressed, these pills will help you rest. And that is Ode to Chill Pills. Our second ode is called Ode to Jupiter Juice. You feel squishy like jiggly water. You can stick like crazy glue. You are pink like a rose. We cannot drink or eat you, but we want to touch you. If we open you, slippery jello would spill out. You are impossible to extract. We are curious about what you really are. Why do you feel like Jupiter? After 100 years, maybe we will know. What would we do without you? And that is Ode to Jupiter Juice. Time for some more barnacle bonus questions. Can you find one sensory detail for each of your five senses in the odes that we just read? Can you find any examples of similes and or metaphors? Go back and listen to the odes again and see if you can answer these questions. Our third ode is an ode to a Rubik's Cube. Rubik's Cube, you feel like stone, just like my bone. You are blue like the Indian Ocean. You are yellow like the sun. You are red like purest fire. Rubik's Cube, you click and snap. You are a shape shifter. Rubik's Cube, I have no doubt, but I can't figure you out. And that is Ode to a Rubik's Cube. Our final ode is the squishy sensation. Jupiter juice comes from Jupiter. Jupiter juice is watery, jiggly, and clumpy. Looks like a watermelony, grapefruity, tomatoey kind of slime. Wet, squishy, stretchy. We can stretch and squish, but if we eat you, we'll get a tummy ache. Almost impossible to make. We would rather eat cake. It can send us far away. You are a good stress reliever for a fever. And that was the squishy sensation. And that is our last poem. Now it's your turn to write. So grab a piece of paper and a pencil or print out our last poem template in the description below and write your own personal poem to Wendy the Wombat. There's also a link to the rest of today's poems. So you can print out and make your own copy of the book unique with your own personal poem. You may have noticed some blank pages in the book while we were reading. Those are for you to add your own illustrations to go along with the poems that we read. If you have a great poem or illustration you want to share with us, you can email us at fieldtrips at 826LA.org. Thanks again for joining us for another episode of Barnacle and Barnacle Presents. We'll see you next time, and until then, keep writing.